Hey guys, my name is Alex and I'd like to welcome you to my brand new YouTube video series about ECMAScript 2015. So ECMAScript 2015, also known as ES2015 or ES6, is essentially a language specification that's been developed by ECMA International in June 2015. Now ECMAScript 2015 was actually a major leap forward for JavaScript because prior to that, most of the industry was using an older JavaScript 5 specification that was developed in 2009. So when JavaScript or ECMAScript 2015 was released in 2015, um, it introduced a bunch of new features and actually a whole new syntax for JavaScript. So some of the new features were classes, modules, arrow functions, promises and whatnot. And there's been quite a few more features and language additions that we're going to cover throughout the series. But I want to keep this video short and I just want to give you sort of like a quick introduction into ECMAScript, what it stands for, what it means, and why we actually care about it as JavaScript developers. So going back to this document, ECMAScript, like I said, is basically a language specification. So just so that we understand the difference between ECMAScript and JavaScript, ECMAScript is essentially a standardized version of JavaScript. It's sort of like a blueprint for the language that describes the standards or describes the rules or the guidelines that JavaScript needs to follow in order to be compatible with that standard. So JavaScript, as you probably know, is the actual language. So it's a general purpose programming language that we, the developers, actually write a code in. And JavaScript is also a language that follows the ECMAScript specification. So I know it might be a little bit confusing at first and if it's sort of like still not clear to you or if you want to learn more, there's actually an article that I found in Medium that talks about all the different terminology around JavaScript and ECMAScript and explains all of that in great detail. So if you're confused, if you want to learn more, definitely go check out the article and it's going to provide you with a lot of useful information. So the next thing that we want to consider is that we want to make sure that the websites or web applications that we develop in JavaScript are cross-browser compatible because the thing is we don't actually know what browser the end client or the end user is going to use so the problem that we're faced with is that ES6 features even though they're pretty attractive and appealing to us as developers well they don't actually have full support um, on older browsers such as Internet Explorer so in order to tackle that problem there's a tool that's called Babel and Babel is basically a very popular tool or library that allows you to transform ES6 code into ES5 code. So the general or typical workflow would basically go as follows. So you as a developer, you write your code in ES6 using all the latest and the greatest features of JavaScript. You write your code in an editor, let's say Sublime or Atom. And when you're done writing your code, you basically run it through a compiler, through Babel, using the command line. And Babel, what, what it's going to do is basically it's going to turn your ES6 code into ES5 code while still keeping it functionally equivalent. So at the end of the day, you're going to get an ECMAScript 5 code that's supported by most of the browsers, including the older ones like Internet Explorer. And that code is going to be suitable for production. So you as a developer, you want to be able, be able to use all the latest features while also make sure that your code is compatible with the production environment and that code can be run on older browsers. So Babel is exactly the tool that allows you to do that. Now, if you're still sort of like confused about ECMAScript or JavaScript, you're not sure whether you need to use ES6 or you need to care about it or you want to learn it. Well, there's quite a few reasons to consider actually. Um, there's been quite a few years actually since ECMAScript 2015 has been released. And obviously JavaScript, as you can see, if we go back to this table in Wikipedia, um, JavaScript is an evolving language, and especially in the last few years. So you can see here that there's been quite a few releases of JavaScript. So there's been ECMAScript 6, 7, and 8 throughout the past few years. And this sort of like indicates that JavaScript is, is an evolving language, is being actively developed, and the JavaScript community has been very active in the past few years. With all the new JavaScript frameworks coming out and whatnot. So if you're still confused about it, well, JavaScript, ECMAScript 2015 is already pretty mature. And as you can see from this table, it's already supported in most of the major uh, modern browsers such as Edge, Chrome, or Safari. So the lesson you want to take is that ES 2015 is a mature 
and widely adopted standard. And honestly speaking, if you want to be a JavaScript developer in the long term, um, if you want to develop JavaScript um, applications or enhance websites with JavaScript, you should definitely consider familiarizing yourself with the ECMAScript 2015 specification because JavaScript, as you've seen, is an evolving language and there's new specifications on the way. So it's going to be evolving, it's going to be growing, and you should make sure that you understand ECMAScript 2015 because it has brought quite a few major changes to the specification um, and that's basically the reason why you need to know it. So this is basically it for the introduction. Thanks a lot for checking out this video and I'll see you next time.